It is now time for Resident Evil Team Up Part 4. Leon has a brand new key, and we're going to use it to unlock doors and stuff. And I know what you're thinking, why can't Leon just kick the doors open instead of wasting time finding keys? The answer is because he's weak! Leon, you need to strike first, strike hard, and have no mercy. Otherwise, those doors will walk all over you. Ah, oh, people! I'm presently unsure as to how to separate those of you who have fed my growing distaste for mankind and those who thus far have not. So, I'm going to kill you all, because I'm annoyed! I had a plan. I worked so hard putting this project together. I wanted to steadily post my videos. However, because of certain world events, holidays have had to be spent at home and I haven't had any time alone to work on my videos. And yes, I suppose I could record these quietly, but if I've spent so long working on this project, do I really want to be recording commentary with less than my usual enthusiasm? Nope! But I have found an opportunity, so let's go for this. This entire building is infested with zombies, and why? It's because there's some kind of pandemic and they weren't wearing their cloth mask. What were you thinking? These are dangerous times. You need to wear face masks, high visibility jackets, or be like Leon and have shoulder pads. All of these things are recognized as effective protection against the T-Virus as outlined in the Umbrella Risk Assessment. Also, long boots, so Jill and Claire should be fine. And should you ever find yourself in a narrow corridor with people, during a pandemic, the best thing to do is shoot them, because you need to distance. And obviously, don't be preachy and annoying about it, just kill everybody who doesn't obey. It's so much easier. Hey! I found a cord! <laughs> Unnecessary evil laugh. Maybe I'll use this cord on a cordless telephone and confuse people. And it'll serve them right! Whoa! Who's that? It's me! I'm looking nice! I hope my reflection's having a better time than I am. I suppose, in the mirror world, most people are left-handed. It's the right-handed people who are the freaks. Oh no! I was joking! So, the mirror world's sending liquors after us, are they? That's weird. I don't want to deal with weird things. Now, let's get... Uh, what is that? Well, the less said about that, the better. Poor Leon. It's getting worse. But it's okay, because we found another plug. A plug and a cord. Now, I don't know how that weird thing got in here, but maybe we should use our cord to stop more weird things getting in. Ooh, now where are we? We're in an office. I just think it's interesting, that little package in the corner there. The image looks like it's been flipped from what the developers probably originally intended it to be, but it looks like it's supposed to say Burger Kong. The Raccoon City version of Burger King. I guess when that office was first designed, it was supposed to be flipped in the opposite direction. I love the consistency though, because you do definitely see some Burger Kong posters in Resident Evil 3. Oh, what's this? Something to activate the shutters. But the cord is broken. Not for long. There! We've done a good job! Now no more weird... things can get in here. But then again, I can't get out. What if I want to leave and get a Burger Kong? Or a McDonald's? Kentucky boiled chicken? Or a pizza hat? No! I must behave myself! I'm actually trying really hard to eat healthy. Because before certain world events, I was doing really well. I was going swimming, I was going biking, doing all sorts of things. And now what do I do? I just work all the time. So I don't feel like I've been looking after myself as well as I should. And I don't know what's further away. The gyms to open up again? Or for it to stop raining so I can ride my bike again? I suppose the best thing I can do in the meantime is just lay off the junk food. Try and get my daily steps in like Leon here. A generator? Maybe from here I can restore the energy of the building. Wow! I've always wanted to do that! So we just need to make it go to 80. So down a little bit, uh, up a little bit, 
up a little bit more and down a bit. Yay! It seems that the generator is working. Oh no! Zombies! Hi! Right, I'm gonna go around here and avoid them all. No problem! Oh god! It's a fat zombie! Let's run away! So now the power's on, we should be able to access certain areas like this card key door. Excuse me, dog! Here we are, in the car park. Hmm. Here. What? Ada? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. Listen to me for a minute. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Why should I? Why should I help you? What's in it for me? You must think I'm a total pushover. Like you can walk all over me and I'll just do whatever you say. Well, I won't. I'll do it in my own time. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I bet Claire wouldn't boss Leon around like this. I wonder what she's doing right now. It's too bad we couldn't stick together, but at least we found another survivor, Ada. And as part of the RPD, it's my job to look out for her, so we're going to stick together. Okay? Just make sure you don't leave my side. I'll protect you. I've got a new friend. Ada, wait! Hey! Well, that is just typical. She used me to push the vehicle and now she's run off. Why do these things happen to me? Oh well, it's alright, I've got handgun bullets. I need them. I need them all! Let's go and explore the prisons. Let me guess, you must be Ben, right? Get up, now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. Ada! <sighs> there she goes again. So we have to find a manhole, and very conveniently, we found a manhole opener. Thanks, Ben. Let's go. A manhole opener. Kind of a weird thing to have right outside the cells. So Ben has locked himself up to protect himself from the monsters. I kind of like what they did with the remake. Ben was gathering evidence against the corrupt police chief, Brian Irons, who had Ben locked up to stop him from talking. But this original Ben makes sense too. The zombies and monsters everywhere. What's the best thing to do? Sleep through the entire thing. Ah, oh, Raccoon City with its giant spiders. They're so cute. They can't help being so big. Let's go into the storage. Hmm. This place is huge. Who would have thought all this was under the RPD? I hope we don't discover anything horrible. Hmm. 
Meanwhile, Claire is going down this elevator. This is Chief Iron's secret passageway. I wonder what he's hiding. Thank you for the release, the joy that our love brings, and everything I touch. How oh, exquisite. I shall not be deprived after all. <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. But I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die! Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio-weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way! Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? The monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. We're done with animals for now, and I have got you! My new trophy, yes, frozen forever in the pose I choose to give her. And a close one for us. What is this place? There's chemicals and human body parts everywhere. And that's not a zombie. It's a person that's been posed. Stuffed. There's the girl from upstairs. And her leg's been chopped off. What was the chief doing to these people? There's more. Under covers. Hmm. It seems that these are the people we've seen in the missing posters. The chief kidnapped them and turned them into his own little taxidermy projects. He seems unhinged, but this guy's crazy. Uh, chief? Are you alright? Guess not. No, what now? Who's this? <laughs> this is William Birkin, malformed by the G-Virus. And now, he's slowly walking up to me with a giant pipe. Uh, nope. Sorry, William. The grenade launcher is mightier than the pipe. I hope. Oh, had enough, have you? Where are you going? Sherry. How oh, great. He's fallen right down into the storage area, where Leon is. I guess it's up to us to finish him off. Oh, careful with that giant pipe! My god, look at him! He was more human upstairs, but now he's becoming more and more monstrous, slowly evolving. Oh, careful, Leon! Oh, have we done it? Sherry! Sherry? Who's Sherry? I think he's down. 
I don't know if he's dead, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Let's go. Back with Claire. I hope that's the last we see of that monster. Hmm. It fell all the way down into the darkness below. Let's push this button. Alright, so we've got somewhere to go. But first, let's go and find Sherry. We left her upstairs. Back to Leon. Let's go in here. To be honest, we're completely lost. We have no idea where we're going. We're just randomly running around the sewers until... Ooh, what's this? A panel. King, Rook, Bishop and Knight Plugs. <gasps> hey, we've got some of those. Let's use them. So we've used the King, the Bishop and the Rook. We're still missing one. I wonder where it could be. Look who it is! Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. <laughs> Fine. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Ah. Push the car, give me a boost. What's next? She's heavier than she looks. This would be so much easier if she had some kind of grapple gun thing. Right, so we're playing as Ada. It's sealed firmly. We're going to have to go ahead. I hear doggies! Hi! Something really bad happened to me today. I was at work, and I saw a dog, and the dog was really cute, and I couldn't pet it because I was at work. On the bright side, I did get a certificate for being Employee of the Month again. They presented me with the obligatory bottle of Prosecco, which uh, I'm not interested in because I don't drink. What does Ada have? There must be Ada and John. So yeah, I didn't take the Prosecco, but I did take some Dr. Pepper, so I'll be getting pretty crazy tonight! I wish to reassure everybody that I'm not going to let this Employee of the Month thing get to my head this time. All it's done is confirmed what I already knew, that I am the greatest man in the world. And I hope that doesn't sound arrogant. I just have this talent for solving problems. For example, this room requires me to get from one side to the other, except it's very badly designed. The only way in which you can get from one side to the other is by stepping on wooden boxes floating in sewerage. And yet, the people who presumably worked in this area before the disaster decided to stick a shelf on the other side. And we need the thing on the shelf. So let's build a bridge. Unbelievable. Ada Wong didn't sign up for this. She came to Raccoon City to try and find her boyfriend. And if possible, try and figure out what's going on. We have important things to do, but here we are, pushing great big crates! <sighs> Done. Right, so now, when we push that button upstairs, it should make the water level rise. Then we can get out of here. I must admit, I always found this bit slightly tedious. Pushing blocks. As much as we love this game, we have to admit to ourselves, slowly pushing big wooden boxes is not that interesting. Not even as Lara Croft. The only time it's remotely good is when you're playing Soul Reaver and you get to stab the boxes with your claws. Oh, but never mind. We have made ourselves a bridge and we can get across and we can find a key. A precinct key? What is a police key doing here, I wonder? Eh, who cares? Let's get back to Leon. Hey, dogs. Don't mind me. Won't Leon be surprised I'm actually returning to him? We have some doors to unlock in the police station. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. A key? Ow! My foot! Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? What? Ada, wait! Ah, oh, yeah, she can't reach the ventilation. I bet she could, if she tried harder. 
She just doesn't want to do another block puzzle. Well, I can't say I blame her. Never mind. Let's go. We've got a new key. We have to pass through the spiders. Don't eat me! Ah! Ha! You missed! They're fast, but luckily quite easy to dodge. We've got to get to the car park. I hope Ada managed to find another way. She'll be stuck down there forever. Doing block puzzles. That'd be rubbish. It's a shame that we can't actually go through this shutter here. That leads onto the streets. We can find Kendo's and the world famous Raccoon City restaurant. Restaurant. And various other things. It's a good thing we didn't arrive in our Jeep. We'd just be outside wondering how to get in. And that would be typical. Leon late on his first day. That is not a good first impression. What would his employers think? There's a reason that I am employee of the month and Leon is not. There's a fine art being late and making sure that nobody notices. But Leon has skills. Look at him dodge these liquors. We've used our key, and here we are in the morgue. I don't like it in here. We found a red key card. Wow! I've always wanted one of those. Oh no, right, I'm going to get out of here. Ah! Zombies everywhere! Let's run! I think I know where we can use that red key card. We've got to get to the other side of this corridor. Ah! Oh, oh. Too many liquors everywhere! Right. Out of the way! I need to get to this door. Ah! Oh. I need to get this door over here. The armory. Welcome! What's going on? Got some rare things on sale. Not only will you need cash, but you'll need guts to buy that weapon. I rode a dolphin when I was a boy. Can't be much harder than that. <laughs> Come back any time, stranger. Huh. Well, that was weird. A merchant. <laughs> the merchant. What a guy. He gave me a machine gun. Not much is known about the mysterious merchant. His name is Harry Mason. He faked his own death so he could live a life of adventure. But he couldn't make ends meet, so he became a merchant. In fact, he's thinking of moving his business to Spain. Alright, where are we? In some kind of staff room. Ugh, a dead guy. Wow, a magnum! I wonder if the merchant was in direct competition with Kendo. I'd like to see that. A massive shootout with them using everything in their inventory to try and kill the rival salesman. Unfortunately, Kendo and his daughter are already dead. It's probably for the best. I don't want to sound like a complete git, but we've already got one little girl running around here. We don't need two. I wonder if Claire found Sherry. I mean, we could use the radio, but I don't like the radio. It's too much like a telephone. I'd rather text than use the telephone, and I'd rather message someone on Facebook for free than text. I mean, why would they want to talk to me anyway? Talking to me is not so exciting. I tried it once. I got into an argument. Now, I happen to know that we've got a door down here we didn't explore, and now we've got a key to unlock it. Oh, God. This is the corridor where we met that weird thing. It looked like a giant slab of tofu. But of course, that's ridiculous. Then again, I mean, most things we've seen today are quite ridiculous. Let's see if we can open this door. All right. And now, we got a puzzle. A puzzle involving fire. But luckily, Leon carries a lighter for some reason. As far as we know, and as far as Leon's mother knows, he doesn't smoke, so I don't know why he carries a lighter. Maybe he just has an old-fashioned oven. Okay, let's see if this works. Did it work? It did! Wow! Oh no! What are you doing here? Oh, great! Mr. X! Smashing through walls! That's police property, you know! Look at him! Menacingly walking up to me very slowly, being all menacing. I'm not afraid of you, with your pouches and your face. Oh, no, he's dead. Ugh. Ugh. And he's got some handgun bullets. Well, I won't say no to handgun bullets. 
And what's this we dropped? We found... A cog! Which I believe we can use in the clock tower. That's where cogs go. Hey, a red herb. I thought I picked that up. It's not a continuity error, they just grow really, really fast. You again? Ha ha! Missed both my legs. Let's go. That guy is unbelievable. If Marvin was still here, that stupid tyrant wouldn't come anywhere near me. This is the worst thing to happen to me in the last five minutes. Just who do these guys think they are? Having a mass zombie attack. Oh god. You know what? I don't know why I'm sticking around here. This isn't Resident Evil 4. At least it can't get any worse. Oh. Let's get out of here. Run! Sorry, liquor. No time for you today. Oh God. And back with Jill Valentine. That was close. Why is Leon having to deal with Nemesis and multiple zombies? Oh well, it's okay. We're. Oh no! It's one of those disgusting things. Ugh. But it's okay because I found a crank. Get away from me! Wah. No! What's going on? Don't make me do this, Murphy. I don't want to shoot you. Dying. Drank water. I finished. Not human. Wait, we... We don't have to do this. Please hurry. Before I lose conscious. Before too late. having to deal with all of his friends dying. Manager's report. That sounds amazing. Let's not read it. Instead, let's watch TV. In store now, Safrin, the common cure from Umbrella. Wow. Those Umbrella guys are really great. Hmm. There's a door in this room, but to open it, we're going to have to use a password. But what could the password be? It must be a word that has something to do with that thing that this company makes. Whatever it is. I'm going to guess... Safsprin. Password confirmed. Excellent. Deactivating lock. And those are the kind of deduction skills that put you in stars. And this poor guy... He's a bit dead. He was turning into a zombie. Poor Murphy. Don't worry. They'll fix you. They fix everything. I wonder what they're hiding back here. Let's find out. Hmm. We've got oil additive. That's exactly what we need for the train. We've now got the mixed oil. Great. Oh, what's going on? Zambers. <laughs> It's okay. Hordes of flesh-hungry undead, with sharp nails and teeth, sponges for bullets and a reluctance to die. Against me, with what I've got. I'm not afraid. I am not afraid. 
Those zombies don't like that steam. Well, we've got plenty more where that came from. Come on, zombies. I don't have all day. Come on! Come closer. No, don't crawl underneath the steam. Oh, this is terrible. Alright, I can't be bothered to fight you guys. I'm gonna run right past you using my amazing stars dodging techniques. Not bad. Right, can I get past you? Yes! I'm sorry for shoving you. Not really. Oh, look, it's these guys. I'm trying to get you better at dodging and shooting the explosives. Just try to get some practice in. Oh! Oh. Well, not like that. But you get the idea. I never really bothered learning how to do it in my previous playthroughs, but it's never too late to learn. And now we're playing as Carlos. Where are we going? What are we doing? <gasps> I heard someone! A survivor! There she was. Right, after her. Excuse me, zombies. I need to get past. Where'd she go? Oh, no. Were we too late? You ate her! Bad zombie. Oh, dear. She's dead. Everybody's dead. Sir! We are here to rescue civilians. Follow me. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? We came all the way out here to save you civilians. No! I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone! open. Oh well, you tried. That hero stuff is harder than it looks. 